Some people underestimate their own abilities and tend to not know their own strengths and weaknesses, even when asked. Phrases like, I am not smart, or I am not good enough, are thrown around too carelessly, and when repeated enough, can become internalized subconsciously and impede performance. Let's look at an example. Meet Juan. He owns a business that creates, sells, and markets backpacks. Unfortunately, business hasn't been the best for his company, and it is barely turning a profit. This has made Juan say to himself, I am not successful. Though he doesn't realize it, Juan is internalizing these thoughts subconsciously, and he is unknowingly sabotaging himself. When breaking it down, what separates functional people from exceptional people are their attitudes about themselves. This is where positive resonance and emotional intelligence come into play. Affirmations help with this. Affirmations are repeated phrases that provide emotional support and encouragement. They can be verbal or nonverbal and are used to encourage oneself. Affirmations help to increase self-actualization and realization. Affirmations are very similar to futuristic thought in that they both create a mental image that you can focus on. The most common affirmation is, I am, as in, I am successful, I am bliss, etc. Words are powerful, and what you say in regards to I am can have a profound effect on oneself. Here's something you can try after this video. How long can you go without saying, I am sorry? Acknowledging thoughts and words for what they are allows you to gain control over your mind, quiet the monkey mind, and develop insight. Remember Juan? He stopped saying things that disparaged himself and focused on I am affirmations. He started saying to himself, I am successful, which led to a more positive outlook of himself. Two years after adapting that mindset, his small backpack company grew into a multifaceted company that also dealt in laptop cases, suitcases, and duffel bags. This is no fluke. Affirmations are commonly used in meditation, which has spread across the planet and has become a staple of Western culture as of late. The practice of meditation is primarily linked with Buddhism, where it is used in the development of the inner self. Meditation is linked throughout different religions, from Hinduism to Sufi to Christianity. In our stressful and perhaps swift-moving society, professionals have found a need to adopt meditation. Meditation is a way to bring the mind to stillness, giving the user an internal balance, mental correctedness, and acute awareness, all of which may help the increase of individual performance. Practitioners have shown meditation helps to reduce anxiety levels, making the mediator calmer, less worried, and possibly more confident. Relaxation and the easing of mind may be helpful in almost any undertaking. It's effortless. Even novices who learn for the first time often find themselves less anxious and more focused. Meditation has been proven to ease the mind, clear moods, invigorate, and inspire. The prolific use of meditation has reached all professions. Athletes like Tiger Woods, LeBron James, Pete Sampras, and Kobe Bryant use meditation to enhance performance. Hall of Fame basketball star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar incorporated meditation into pregame routines, which was described in an article. Abdul-Jabbar augmented his practice of yoga and martial arts with meditation to relieve pregame stress and improve performance. On April 5, 1984, he scored his 31,420th point to become the NBA's all-star scoring champion, a record he still holds. Simply put, mindfulness meditation may improve empathy and cognition. It's time for you to take your skills to the next level. You don't need to be a master at doing this. Anyone who gives it time and a chance has an opportunity to increase productivity, skill, and flow. So hum, chant, sing, sit in silence, send out compassion, and enjoy the ride.